Shalom, brothers and sisters all over the world, let us pray. Almighty God, your name Jehovah, Holy Spirit Yeshua, thank you so much, Heavenly Father, so who you are. And thank you so much, Heavenly Father, for giving to me opportunity to share this message to your son and daughters all over the world. Father Almighty, I do not know how can I do this so. Please, Heavenly Father, give it to me, so wisdom and knowledge to manage about this video, not by my opinion, and all about your Spirit, the Holy Spirit, and, the, and the Yeshua Christ, the help, Heavenly Father, give it to me, the wisdom and knowledge. Heavenly Father, every single moment, please be with me. In the name of Yeshua, I pray. Amen. Brothers and sisters all over the world, peace be with you. In this moment, almost like midnight, it is unbelievable. I try to make this visions to put it into the video. But I do know if I'm not making this video, I cannot sleep tonight. Because of the Lord of Lords, the King of Kings, Alpha and Omega, Yeshua Christ, He will not let me sleep. Last night, before going to bed, I prayed to God and I all revealed about my 28 videos. And especially since 2004, so God gave to me a lot of vision and dream through my dream. And I was somewhat, I was writing down the here and there's my diary. And I was all check things out and especially really urgent and really, really important message is I made it 28 videos and this is already published towards all of the word so I was make sure it was very important the message is out there already so I was pray and I was asleep but normally whenever the Yeshua Christ wake me up approximately so three o'clock in the morning so as usual he wake me up almost at three o'clock in the morning and then I got up and I tried to go to bed, but I couldn't sleep for 25 minutes. And I gave up and I wake up and I start to pray in tongue. And approximately before 4 o'clock, I was fed asleep until I was awake up 6, 11 a.m. It is. It was such a such a drama because sometimes vision and dreams sometimes so short, sometimes it's really really long. Last night drama. It is such a drama. Last night my dream dream was such a drama. I was I I write it down six pages. So. I don't know how can I organize this once in a short period moment, but I really, really need God Almighty wisdom actually. So I just tried to make this video um, a very important message. So six, it was September 17, 2017, in this morning, six. 11 a.m. it was dream dream so I will just translate the whatever I write it down that there must be I can organize a little bit better heart is broken my heart has broken. This is Yeshua Christ. Sing. Sings through me. So that was 3 o'clock. I woke up and 25 minutes. I couldn't sleep again. 
So I just like、uh, 3.30, I was wake up and th- towards the sky and I pray in tongue. And before 4 o'clock, I fell asleep. And I woke up at 6.11. It was. <sighs> It was my, my soul c o m e back to my body. And until that moment, Yeshua Christ, Yeshua Christ was in my body. And there was Yeshua Christ sing a song. Like that was a sad song. It was a sad song. Maumi a p a Ne ma u m i a p a l heart is broken. My heart is broken. It was a dream, dream. It was a double dream. And my husband and I, so we went to the Anglican or Preston church as weekend. In the weekend, sometimes we are. Going to the other church because summertime, some church is not right times, they are not open. So, in this church, in this summer, I went to this church, and sometimes, sometimes different church we are going. So, anyways, before we go to the church, we just drink a little bit, and、um, I just like as usual in my bag, I just put it in the Bible and pen and pencils or whatever is what it is. This was actually a dream, dream, in a dream, and there was another dream. So, this church it was really, really fancy, and it was really fancy church, and worship service was like as a like, musical. And my husband and I, it was we were s i t t i n and then w a t c h and then we had a service, and it seems like a Saint Joseph Church or something like that. It was way back side of the church, and the church seems like theater. Some church looks seems like a theater. So, All of a sudden, we sit down and then watch and then have a service. And all of a sudden, one man behind of me, he was, sh- he was touching my shoulder. And I was really s- surprised and awake. And I turned right. And actually, he was really injured. Like he was, he needed really, really help. Actually, knife was to go through. His、uh, front forehead, and he, he was, he was,、um, his blood was、um, dripping, and he was, he was、uh, staring at me. And then I just right away in the dreams, I had a lot of experience, spiritual experience. So I just like right away,、um, I put two hands and towards that guy because he n e e d spiritually, he n e e d help. And then I started to、uh, um, pray in tongue. Because a couple of times in my dreams, whenever the evil demon attack was h a p p e n e d I pray in tongue and I was pray in tongue even in the dream, it was possible. Anyway, I was praying in tongue and start to pray. And the thing is, this church to the, to the people s they are teaching how can they translate it tongue. So, anyways, all of a sudden I started praying in tongue, and this wound man, wound, wound man, he was、uh, possessed by、um, suicide, suicide demon actually. And all of a sudden, that man and then translated whatever some speaking in tongue towards him. And my tongue started like this. 
Allah harani hastalan ya hapishte ya kalan ya babakustan ya hapakalan ya rabastara but if I'm praying in tongue that was the first word was I am the Lord Almighty name is Jehovah so I always pray in tongue but any times I do not understand what is that exactly what I'm speaking to but through this dream I knew that Holy Spirit speaking and the Holy Spirit praying I was confirmed about this dream and I was holding that guy he needs help and then I was praying tongue and um, it, it it was like even knife and it was a come out and his wound front head was his scar was like healed and it keep go it whenever I did you know like keep going tongue and it was healing was a work in progress so and I I knew that that was a dream and so I was like asked my husband honey I really have to write it down to this situation because I really want to write it down to this dream and I was like uh, write it down and all about my experience about a spiritual experience and then it wasn't really easy to write it down my um papers and even bibles it wasn't really easy but i write it down i write it down anyhow but i was a uh, what i what i got home and i tried to open and but i couldn't find out anything because that was dream anyway um i was um it it was double dream and it was a, such a drama and I tried to a little bit um, make summarize and that my husband and I so we went to the church again and that was uh, worse they're wor they're worshiping in musical so And anyways, in the in the church, and I explained to the people about I had a dream, and it was like a spiritual experience, and talk about tongue, and it is a healing, and this something kind of the experience to the church member, and all of a sudden, it is very suddenly, what happened is my body in in the dream, my body, like a real Yeshua crisis, come into my body. So my body was a total control under the Yeshua Christ. And what I felt, it was my soul was really, really warm. And it was peaceful. And the feeling was really good feeling. And then I, I just let him lead my body. And then it was, it was I was moving front and back. It's, it was totally, it was my body at all. And anyway, um, all of a sudden, in the one of the church member, he was possessed by evil spirit as well. And then I was right away find out that he is evil spirit. And then I towards him, and I just like um, rebuked that the name of the Yeshua's. I command, do not test the God Almighty, and demon spirits go away. And then. It was whosoever possessed by demon spirit, they were so surprised and they was awake. And um, totally Yeshua's Christ control. And I see from the front, from the church and the towards the people and whosoever is a Christian. And I see a lot of people, a lot of church members 